Hello, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. It is correct in the King James Bible. We find we find by the faith of Jesus Christ, by the faith of Christ, through the faith of Christ. The Bible, the corrupt ones, faith in, in the faith of Christ. Let me start right away. I tell you, if we think that Jesus Christ needed to have faith, like we need to have faith in Him, in God, in the Spirit, in the Word of God, we really may be missing out to who Jesus is. Not only was, because that passage on earth has been a short one, it's the everlasting God. So to say that Jesus Christ had to have faith in God like we do, like we do have faith in Him, diminish Christ as another Christ, as another Jesus, another spirit. I personally stay away from that. Better than me, people like Justin Johnson, better, by far better, have done beautiful studies of this. One of the few, because the majority, and sadly, you know, the majority of, of people that are in the grace circle, so to say, they continue with this at the faith of Christ. Okay, so, you know, what is this faith of Christ? Let's read together. Galatians 2.16 Knowing that a man is not justified by the, work, the works of the law. So, establish this, right? Knowing a man, man or woman is the same, you understand, is not justified by the works of the law. So, you people that want to do the law, right? Forget it. Forget it. But by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ. Did you know this? Even we have believed in Jesus Christ. You get that? How do we get saved? That we might be justified by the faith of Christ. The operation of God. That's what God has done. Christ has accomplished. He died for our sins. He was buried. He rose again third day for our justification. That's it. And not by the works of the law. By the works of the law, yeah. no flesh be justified. Is that clear? For the, by the works of the law, yeah, no flesh be justified. Yeah, it's too low. It's too weak, this orange. By the works of the law, can no flesh be justified. So how do we get justified? We believe how the Christ died for our sins. We believe. We need to believe. Not Jesus believed for us. It's ridiculous. Can't you see? Paul says, Romans 4.25, Christ was delivered for our offenses, was risen again for our justification. Romans 4.25. When we believe that, when we believe that, we receive by imputation, the righteousness of Christ. Otherwise, I'm the world. I'm going to be righteous in the presence of Almighty God. That's why, you know the story. When you believe what Christ has accomplished, when you believe, no, Christ didn't believe for you. You believe the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. After you believe, you will see your written to the Ephesians chapter 113, with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption of the first possession, unto the praise of His glory.
So knowing that man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ. That we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. So the faith of Christ is in contraposition to the works of the law. The faith of Christ is the gospel of Christ, where you and I do not participate but we simply believe and see what he has done. And as we get saved and sealed, and then we are justified. Because justified means made just. It says that God can be just and the justifier of him who believes in Jesus. You need to believe in Jesus. You need to believe in the gospel of the cross. So what is the faith of Christ? Philippians 3 9. Be found in him. That's Paul talking. Also before in Galatians. Not having my own righteousness, which is of the law. Remember, he was reprehensible, unreprovable uh, concerning the righteousness, which is of the law. When he was a Pharisee, be found in him. Not having my own righteousness, which is of the law. But that which is through the faith of Christ, which is the righteousness which is of God by faith. That's what it is. The faith of Christ is the righteousness which is of God by faith. Just get it. I really hope you get it. I'm not going to do more than this. Why? Because, you know, it's not a question I want to contend. You know, I'm not saying that uh, I don't want to contend. But I want to clarify that it's very important that we are very careful that we understand who Jesus was, is, from eternity past, eternity future, and in his passage on earth, in his incarnation. Because if he wasn't God, or was only a man who needed to have faith in God, he can't be your savior. Because then his death on that cross means nothing. When in reality, because he was fully God and fully man, he could die as a man, he could save you as God. You understand? Don't diminish Christ. Some people say that Christ emptied himself of his divine attributes. This is absolutely ridiculous. He humbled himself, yes. He did, even to death and the death on the cross. To say good for nothing like me and you, eh? ungodly sinners, enemies of God, dead in trespasses and sins, children of wrath and disobedience in Adam. That's why a U.S. he quickened, he says, who were dead in trespasses and sins. All happens when you believe. You believe. No, say, well, the faith of Christ. No. It's not like that God says, oh, you know, my son is God of faith. Or the faith of God. He's the object of faith. He doesn't need to have faith. It's no question like the world of faith movement says, God, you know, by faith spoke. No. <laughs> the power of God is the power of God. In himself he's got this power. He doesn't need any external thing. Mamma mia, mamma mia. If it's not clear, we got to start all over again. Jesus Christ was God in the flesh. I got so many verses that say that. But let's go. To the scriptures. If I can open it. No, I don't know. It's not opening. Okay, I'll open this one. I open the giant one because you know I got problem with vision. Yeah, okay. Three. Let's go here. Let's go in, in the Gospel of John. Verse one. Read with me. Verse one. In the beginning, 
in the beginning as bad. In the beginning was the word, capital W. And the word was with God, capital W. And the word was God. The word is Christ before incarnation with a capital W seven times in the King James Bible. You want to see that? Bear with me. Praise God. He gave glory to God, okay? If you digit case sensitive, word you find the seven times in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us israel and we that's israel beheld this glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth First John 1 John 1.1 says, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled, of the word of life. Christ is the word of life. So one, two, three, four, five. Then, for there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. So this is the Godhead. And then in the book of Revelation, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Capital W, seven times, that's Christ. Okay. Again, knowing that man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we who have believed in Jesus Christ, and we might be that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Put another nail in the coffin of religion that promotes works all the time. Oh, yeah, Jesus died for you, but you have to do the works. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. But I believe in Jesus, generically speaking, means nothing. I confess Jesus with your mouth. You're not called to. Because confession with your mouth is a work. But faith is not a work. It's only the means by which you receive what God has prepared for you. We found in him, no having my own righteousness, which is what the Lord says, for in Philippians 3 9, but that which is through the faith of Christ, which is the righteousness which is of God by faith. So by believing what God says is, and what God has done, yeah, God imputes the righteousness of Christ to you. So Christ did not need to have faith. Christ didn't uh, empty himself. That's kenosis. Of his divine attributes. Be careful. That your Christ is not good for nothing because you believe another Jesus, another spirit, another gospel. Is the gospel the grace of God? Acts 20, 24. It's the gospel of Christ, 11 times in the letters of Paul. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. So, your faith is absolutely essential to receive what God has done. He said, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Romans 1 16. For it is the power of God. What? The gospel of Christ. And to salvation to everyone who believes. Not to get baptized, confess the sins, goes to church, pay tithes, identifies himself with the 12 tribes and this and that. No, because you are not in any way, shape or form identifiable with the 12 tribes. You were never part of the lost sheep of the other of Israel or the 12 tribes. You are part of the new creature. Totally new. Never existed before. The revelation of the mystery. 
But remember, Jesus didn't need to have faith like we do. We need to have faith. Because without faith, we can't receive what God has done. But Christ, you know, they diminish Jesus. And they don't even try. That's terrible. You're shooting your own foot. Okay? It is true that it's written the faith of Christ. By the faith of Christ. Yes. No problem. That's the King James. I'm a King James Bible believer. Only King James. Don't come with any other Bibles. I, I will not even pay attention. But it's the righteousness. The faith of Christ. But that which is true and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, says Paul. Oh, he was bossing this, you know. He was a, a Pharisee. Uh, I don't know, Pharisee, because he was Hebrew of Hebrews, of the tribe of Benjamin. You know? Big top gun. According to the righteousness which is in the law. Unbelievable, unreprovable, unreprovable, whatever you want to say. All these things I consider that when you know when you when you see Jesus because you see Paul was persecuted the little flock because they didn't believe that Jesus was risen from the dead because they believed as a Pharisee that Jesus was a false messiah. So he was persecuting the, the disciples because they said, we got rid of Jesus, he didn't believe in, in the resurrection. Now let's get rid of those followers. Let's fix this. And he was doing a tremendous job. It's a perfect figure of the future Antichrist for Israel. Nothing to do with us. But he had an encounter. Very special one. It's recorded three times in the book of Acts. In Acts 9, in Acts 22, and Acts 26. Christ appeared with the light above the light of the sun. He smashed them, you know, he tuned on the, on the ground. Who are thou, Lord? <laughs> Jesus, who thou persecutest. When he says, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? <laughs> wow, man. Saul, say, I'm no more Saul, that's it. What do you want me to do, Lord? Right. You go into the city and so forth. It's going to be that what you must do. You must do. It starts the ministry. This ministry is so important because it brings to us. The only gospel that saves us now, which is the gospel of the cross, the power of God, we preach the gospel of the cross. We know that there are other gospels. There is the gospel of circumcision and circumcision, the gospel of Moses, the gospel in Eden. Yeah. The gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of Christ, the gospel of the grace of God. It's amazing. Yes, Christ has done all that was necessary. But you need to have faith in it. Because if you don't believe, it's, you know, say, well, say by the faith of Christ, you don't believe it. And that's the universalism. Automatically, because Christ had faith, what, what he was doing? He said, was Christ faithful? Of course he was faithful. He's God. He's, God is faithful to his word. You understand? You understand? Do I explain myself? Or do I understand? I don't want to diminish Christ. I don't care if pastor this or pastor that. Preachers, what? I don't care. Say, well, so you want it right? No, this is the right. The scripture. The faith of Christ, comma, the righteousness which is of God by faith. When you believe, the death, burial, resurrection, as the gospel saves you, God imputes righteousness to you. Just like Abraham believed God and then was counted unto him for righteousness. Same thing. That's it. Possibly, I encourage you to go on the, the website of Grace Ambassadors. It's got tremendous studies of this. Very helpful. But otherwise, Read for yourself. Pray and read. Pray and read. Read and pray. And study. And don't go just all emotional. Or, oh, this brother or that brother. Because, for example, me. 
I'm very glad and happy if somebody gets encouraged or edified or because I get edified first, you know. What do you think that I'm here like a bull? Forget it, you know. Forget it. I need constantly to learn according to the principle of right division because God commands study to show the self approved unto God a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rather divided the word of truth, which is rather divided the gospel. Of course, in the Bible, there are interdispensations of truth. In the Old Testament, there are lots of information valid also for us. For example, when Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father, but by me, that's interdispensation of truth. Because if you think now, because we believe Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, we discard what Jesus said, no. We know that when he tells something, something, <laughs> To his earthly people, Israel, we can't do that. We were never under covenant. We're not under covenant even now. I know that some people say the covenant of grace. If it's covenant, it's not grace. If it's grace, it's not covenant. You understand the covenants? We were strangers from the covenants. It's written like this in Ephesians 2.11. Of the convert of Israel. God never made a covenant with us. He's giving us grace. And for this, we are grateful. So, we found in him no having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, comma, explaining the righteousness, which is of God by faith. That's how you receive imputation of righteousness. That's why I can be righteous. Why? Because, okay, when Christ died on that cross, in the mind of God, all died with him, the believers. Crucified with him. That's why I said, I am crucified with Christ. Yet I live. Now, no, I know. You know, the life that now I live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Don't try to, to be super spiritual. Be simple. Thank you, Lord. Maybe there is more to say, but I think for today is enough. Thank you, Lord.